When you look up and down the Royalton girls basketball roster, you might notice a certain number missing under the grade level category, 12. Despite featuring no seniors, the Royals are on fire and off to a hot start to the 2017-18 campaign. It's been a really good start. You know, we can't really ask for a whole lot better. Our one last came against Rush City, who has not lost yet, and they're ranked top five in the state. Despite the youth, coaches and players alike credit the depth for the success so far this season. We have strong, everyone's strong on our team. Any girl can be in and we can play just as well as if we had other ones in. So. The players work off each other and the chemistry of the team both on and off the court. Working together. We work together really well. Uh, we've been playing with each other for a long time so that helps definitely. We have a lot of chemistry throughout the team and I mean we had a Pretty good season last season. There was a couple games, surprised that we won, but I mean, we got in there and did what we did what we had to do. Many of the veterans were thrown into leadership roles last season as sophomores and freshmen, so they understand the importance of their role on the team. And it's something you just gotta do, and I mean, a lot of younger kids look up to you, and you just do what you have to do. It just become who I am, I guess. It's fun working with them and always helping them when they need help. And those leadership skills have not gone unnoticed. They're, I would say they're wise beyond their years. Um, they're, they're very mature. They know the game really well. Um, they play much older than what they um, are in their true age. The Royals next face holding Ford on Friday night on the road. Reporting in Royalton, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Thanks, Clayton. As he said, here's a look at that matchup Friday night against 7-3 and three holding Ford. That starts around 7 p.m. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.